All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. Just another video, um, through spirit and power, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Um, just a response to beloved elder, Apostle Gaba. You know, in this video, you see on screen here. Right, um, daily edification for subscribe to be edified. All right, the name of the video is one of the qualities a true man of the Lord must have is sincerity. All right, and in this video, he's um, he's speaking about um, Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC. All right, and he comment that um, the elder crackers are about a Baltimore made on the elder apostle's beloved elder apostle Sahar's channel. All right, and a video he was making. You know, and here you can see the um the comment on screen. You know, it's from Biblical Defenders. You know, which which um the elders edify and elders go and subscribe. All right, watch and subscribe. Uh, he said in, in this comment, um, I remember running into an IUIC soldier in Home Depot, and I asked him about the mark. Right, and he said. Let me see if I can um Google Defenders. That's the channel of so he put this comment here. Alright, here we go. Right? So he asked him about the mark. We we know what the mark of the beast. And he said, Nate or Bishop Nathaniel teaches the mark in a private class. Right? So he knows. Right? So Bishop Nathaniel, here it is um the elder apostle did a defined video going into sincerity. All right, in terms of speaking the truth, all right, you know, always been not not um being um double minded, you know, and whatnot, speaking um one doctrine when he when he um goes on the media on YouTube, all right, and on the TV, and then in a private class, you you're speaking on something else, you're talking the true doctrine in a private class, all right, so you're not you you're not um making up that um that hedge, you know, for the for the, for the Israel for, for the elect of Israel. You know, in the um, in the in in the day, you know, of destruction. All right, basically. So you're not being sincere. You know the truth, but you're not teaching the truth. Only in a private class. So something is wrong. There's many things wrong with that. Many many things wrong with that. You know. But if I can add a little edification, you know, in terms of this, you know, to the apostles' video. All right. Uh, um, as we believe, you know, and um, as Elder Apostle Sahar then believes, you know, Nate. You know, and Apostle Gabba, Nate took the bag. You know, we believe Nate took the bag. You know, and that's what's causing him to um, to behave like this. All right, that's what's causing him to you know to to preach the truth behind closed doors, and 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 preach rotten lies, false doctrine, out in the open. All right, that's what's causing it. Let's let's get a precept here. The book of Exodus, book of Exodus, chapter twenty three. Verse 8, it says, and thou, and thou shalt take no gift, right? Because a lot of a lot of Israelite groups, including Sakari, um, a lot of brothers, um, there was a there was a video actually but from um Elder Malcolm, you know, in the, the Chicago camp, you know, um, where some brothers were edifying and saying that you know it's how men from Sakari, you know, they have cars on the road, although they have no any job, they have a whole fleet of cars on the road and they run and I mean I know. They, they, they couldn't get this money um money like that right because in this truth the lord only gives you um you know that which is sufficient for you all right you know food convenient okay so anything else you know um it came with a gift you know from since way back in the um our elders elders in one west days you know these devils the might try to bribe them and a lot of men some men took the bad you know within this time you know, namely we believe Nate and Sakari, etc. All right, but this is what the Lord said: this is Exodus twenty-three and eight, the books of the law, the book of the law, right? It says, "And thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blinded the wise, all right, and perverted the words of the righteous, right? It blind the wise, right, and pervert. Let's get that word pervert. All right, let's see if we can get that word pervert." All right, this is the word pervert. It says perverted is a verb that means to cause something to turn away from what is right 
good or true all right okay to cause something to turn away so it caused nate taking that gift where they say nate is worth over 150 million us dollars all right you know he's a rich man by today's he's a very rich man by today's standards all right as well as um the iuic being um being part of the the, the 501c3 charter where they recognize under i believe it's islam under muslim rights or whatever the cases may be all right you know that just proves that in a way he, he took that back and it caused him to turn away from what is good what is right or true all right it can also mean to put something to a wrong use wow put something to a wrong use so you put any word of your abashim yahushai to a wrong use you know namely to puff up himself to big up himself to push the, the iyc based on what pride you know not not sincerely as as elder apostle gaba said you know not not humbly to push your shai's name to glorify his name and the name of the father all right it says to put something to a wrong use or to give it a wrong meaning all right beautiful what do, and what is he given the wrong meaning you break down from the mark of the beast revelation 13 and 16 on down all right he given it a, that's what he's doing you know let's go back here all right so he's he's perverted or given a wrong meaning to the to the word in the wrong breakdown right because that's the that's what and that's a serious offense because what the word yahweh shai say come in the volume of the book it is it is written of him right the testimony of yahweh shai is the spirit of prophecy so you're breaking down that testimony wrong right you see it and perverted the words of the righteous now let's read in the nlt it says take no bribes for a bribe makes you ignore something that you Woo! wow take no bribes for a bribe makes you ignore something that you clearly see you clearly see and in this this um let's do this here and in this this uh, um this brother's select here again a little excited here but let's do this right in this um in the brothers elders comment here right it says that what uh and he said nate teaches the mark in a private class so he knows so he knows what he's doing he's aware that he's breaking down wrong out out in the open in the media all right basically and you know he clearly sees it he clearly sees that the the elder apostle from elder apostle town down was correct that the mark of the beast is the RFI the microchip all right he knows that right but um it makes him ignore it why number one he wants to continue in this world you know and, and be and be a big man in this world all right and love this world all right number two i believe nate is afraid he's afraid that you know the covenant he made with um with these devils you know you know they're gonna come back from which which they will more than likely i believe the same thing happened to the um the um so-called comforter you know uh tazadakia all right you know you know when he when when he when they made a, a covenant and this is the this is the reason why the scripture and the word tell us don't make a covenant with these all right so lucky like, yeah, let's bear with me a moment here all right so so now let's um let's get up Exodus 23 and 32. Let's get at it. All right. Book of Exodus, chapter 23. I believe it's verse 32 or 30. And this is the Lord speaking to the um the children of Israel. Right? Um, the laws. Alright? And he's talking about us going into the land. Alright? Exodus 23 and 32 to say, Thou shalt make no covenant with them nor with their gods in um in the nlc it says make no treaties with them or with their gods and the 501c tree is a treaty is a covenant it's a contract all right a lot of our uh, the old wicked israelites you know made agreements with these heathens all right you know and that was that was them going off 
believe you can get that in the first Maccabees 1. Let's see if we can find it here. Here we go. First Maccabees 1 and 11. In those days when they out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. These are the carnal wicked Israelites. You know, which um, the elder, elder Apostle Gabbai, you know, referred to the Bishop Nathaniel and IYC as the wicked scribes and Pharisees. You know, who enlarged their garments. They were only what was, they were only going, you know, and, and showing off the outward appearance. But inwardly, they were, they were like rotten, rotten bones. Corrupt. You know, in their mind. Okay? Corrupt in their mind. But outwardly, they, they look clean. Right? The garments look well furnished. You know, but Hey, you made, a, you made a covenant with hell and with death. That's basically what you're doing. And, and, and you, you're leading the flock astray. You're leading the flock, flock astray based on your, your carnal needs, your, your wants to uh, continue in this place. This is the reason why they, they push um, com, com, so-called community, which goes back to Balbaret. All right? They push so-called community building Israelite. Um, you're building up a nation in Babylon, you know, which is about to be destroyed. It's, it's, it's foolishness. Alright? It's foolishness. Alright? It's, it's nonsense. This is, this is, that's what it is. It's um, 1 John 2, verse 15. This is why the Lord tells us this. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Alright? So if need, need love the world, guess what? The love of the Father is not in him. Alright? That's what's going on. So if you want to be a big man in this place, you know, you, you got the wrong thing. In this truth, it's about humility. Humbling yourself now. Because we we just that's why the Lord said, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right? The scriptures say, um, here we have no continuing city. Okay? Alright? This is not for us. This is the rulership of the heathen. James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with the Heavenly Father? So if you are a friend of this world and you love this world and you want to be a big part of this world, a big man in this world, all right, and you want to partake in all the lusts of the flesh, lusts of the eyes, the pride of life, all right, then you, you win for destruction, right? You are enemy of the Heavenly Father. And if you're enemy of the Heavenly Father, guess what? The Lord is going to destroy you, right? It says, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the heavenly father. All right, let's get back to the last precept, 1 John 2 and 16. It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, right, the lust of the eyes, you know, having to drive, drive in a hellcat, like Sakari, who snubbed it, who snubbed itself, talking about whatever nice this and a nice that, and they're comfortable in Babylon. No, the Lord, bitch, the Lord said, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. In fact, let me get that. Alright. Um, let's get to the book of Micah 2 and verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart. Depart how? Spiritually. You know, physically we hear. Alright. We use any world not as abusing it. Alright. Just for our physical needs. But guess what? Spiritually, we already departed. Right? You know, we 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 move working on to the kingdom of heaven. That's what we sown on to. Not this will. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. This will is polluted. You have adultery going on. You got the rainbow people. You, you got um, the, lust, uh, the, the, the lust of money, love of money. The way you're trampling over other people's, people's uh, people, um, killing them, destroying them for money, for position, for power. All right? You know, you have a whole lot of wickedness going on in this place, man. It's Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. Right? And they display, they show this sin as Sodom. They don't hide it. So it's, it's, this place is ripe for what? Destruction. It's ripe for destruction. Okay? It's ripe for destruction. First John 2 and um, I'll, finish, I'll read over verse 16. It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, right? It's not of the Father. Although, although Nate, you know, saying he's a man of the Lord, really a false prophet. 
right? But is of the world, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the heavenly Father abideth forever. And the Lord tell us to go into the highways and byways. You know, he told us, he told us um, some scriptures that the, the elder apostle Gabar brought out. You know, basically he told us to go and proclaim, proclaim what we've learned on, on the house stuff. Don't hide it away. Okay? Don't hide it away. You know, go into um, the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 10, verse 27. Right, it says, in fact, that's, an, that's another precept, Salakia 28, 27, 28. Let's get, let's get another one. It says, John chapter 18 and verse 20. Yahweh Shai answered him. In fact, let me read this. Verse 19. John 18 and 19. The high priest then asked Yahweh Shai of his, and his, of his disciples and of his doctrine. Right? The doctrine. See how important the doctrine is, right? Yahweh Shai answered him, I speak openly to the world. Right? So the Lord said he speak what? Openly to the world. He didn't speak in a private class, in a private room, hidden away. He spoke openly to the world. And this is the same way he told us to do when we go, I think it's Matthew 22 and 9, go into the highways and the byways. And and call them into the wedding feast. Now the wet now, you can't call as as they say, you can't call the elect the chosen into the wedding feast unless you unless you um the instruments, you know, make a certain song. All right. So if 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 your song is going off, you're not going to be calling the Lord chosen. You're going to be calling undesirables. All right. And this is what it is. A lot of these people in, in these camps are undesirables of the Lord. They're not of the elect. There are elect, elect among them, as as the elder apostle Tar said. But a lot of them are undesirables. Right. You see, I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple. Whether the Jews always resort so openly, openly. And in secret have I said nothing. So what the Lord said, this is the Lord. You see the red writing? He said, in secret have I said nothing. So the Lord didn't preach in any private room. Like what you see in um, Nate. What you hear in that Nate is doing. Speaking the truth in a private class. Yet he's speaking lies openly. All right? Okay, there you have it. You know. So <laughs> then he continues. Why ask it thou me? Ask them which heard me, what I said unto them. Behold, they know what I said. Woo! They know what I said. And Nate heard that this word from his elders. Right? He heard it. He heard it from Elder Apostle Taha. Right? So he knows. Yeah. So the Lord said they know. They know what I said. He knows what the man of the Lord said. He knows that. And of course, we, do, we don't have get anything from ourselves. We get everything from Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. So what, what do, who gave El Apostle Taha the, the ability and the knowledge that, the, that the, um, the MOTB is the RFID C hip or potato chip? Right? Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Right? Because El Apostle Taha spoke it what, openly. <coughs> You know, he didn't hide it away in a, in a private room. Or else none of us would know up, up to now. If he hid it away, none of us preaching this would we would we wouldn't know. Maybe a handful of, of, of um the apostles or the bishops or the elders might know if he was hiding it away. Alright, but no, he, he he um he taught it openly and he's still teaching it openly. Alright? You know, that's a man of the Lord. That's a man of the Lord. So he he's a, he the apostle Saha doesn't have any aspirations in this world like you know like bishop nathaniel and he doesn't have any fear of and that was the other point i was bringing he doesn't have any fear of this world but what does scripture tell us about fear tell us that fear fear bring it a snare i believe this proverbs proverbs 29 and verse 25 it says the fear of man so best believe after they did made that covenant that five one six three four that 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 agreement He's fearful of breaking it because he knows they won't come from if he does. Right? It says the fear of man bring it a snare, a trap. But whoso put it, his trust in Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai shall be saved. And the scriptures say we ought to fear the Heavenly Father rather than men. Right? We ought to fear the Heavenly Father. Fear God rather than man. Right? 
this is this is this is the tripping stone the tripping stone of need and the of worldliness on a whole acts 5 and 29 right acts acts chapter 5 verse 29 it says um then peter and the other apostle answered and said right we ought to and and build and and mind you the apostles um were under threat you know from from men for preaching this gospel they were whipped all right okay all right they they were whipped they could have been stoned in fact let me read a little higher up um acts 5 and 25 then came one and told them saying behold the men whom you put in prison so they were they were they were incarcerated for the for this word right are standing in the temple and teaching the people then which is what out in the open right then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence for they feared the people lest they should have been stoned right for, for, for um, coming against the men of the lord and when they had brought them they set them before the council and the high priest asked them saying did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in his name right in this name and this is the same thing with me too because he doesn't teach any name he doesn't teach that's another point he doesn't teach in the name of yahweh basham yahweh shai right right so which which means that this shows the importance of the name yahweh why yahweh shai all right to salvation right because they, they were the apostles back in that day were strictly commanded on the penalty of, of prison imprisonment on the penalty of, of being whipped for preaching the name right which proves again that we believe that Nate took the bag all right because he's not teaching the name all right did we not straightly command that you should not teach in this name and behold you have filled jerusalem with your doctrine you filled jerusalem with your doctrine all right right that's that's how important the doctrine is this thing of this thing of, of ours is, is no joke the doctrine of the lord is precious it's pure it's clean anything any if you if you change this doctrine guess what you're corrupting the word you're corrupting the word you know you're corrupting the word all right and you you what you've been having a what a double a, a, a double tongue all right a double tongue let's finish read this acts 5 and continuing verse 28 it says and behold you have filled jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man blood this man's blood upon us then peter and the other apostles answered and said we ought to obey the heavenly father rather than men right so you you gotta you gotta figure out your own salvation Nate, you bet you know if you, if you know what's good for you you're gonna fear the heavenly father and not men right because the lord said don't do, uh don't fear those in fact this is because because this, this is it here matthew 10 which is the spirit i pull, I pull it up early and by error but um it's important i'll read from verse 27 matthew 10 27 it says what i tell you in darkness that speak ye in light right in light you see how we shy speaking here and what you hear in the ears that preach ye upon the house tops so don't go in a private room to tell a few people tell everyone the truth right tell everyone the truth it says and fear not them which kill the body right this is why i believe what needs is, is he's afraid of now after he's made his covenant although he knows the truth he knows that elder apostle tower was right he's fearing those that can kill the body and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell Right, so don't fear them who kill you, because at the end of the day, the kingdom is coming. And the Lord Yahweh Shai is the resurrection. He can protect you. He's the one that will lift you up. So who you ought to fear? You fear the Heavenly Father and not men. That's who you fear. All right? Fear the Heavenly Father. Okay? It's plain and straightforward. This thing of ours ain't no joke. All right? This ain't no joke. Okay? Fear the Lord. And the power of his might okay um is it um he he is not bear with me a moment joshua one and, joshua one and nine right book of joshua one and verse nine it says have not i commanded thee be strong and of a good courage 
Be not afraid. Right? Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For your power, thy power, is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. This is why we go into the highways and byways. You know, as sheep, as lambs for the slaughter. All right? You know, among grievous wolves. All right? And, and this is where the faith that is lacking among all of the other Israelite camps. Some men go on the highways and byways with big stick. You know, um, like like the world looking to, to, to mow down, to shoot down AR-15s, bullshit like that. The Lord didn't say to do that. Alright? The Lord didn't, didn't speak to these men. Alright? Yet they ran. Alright? This is um, this is Jeremiah chapter 15. <coughs> Verse 2, it says, Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard publish and conceal not Woo. publish and conceal not don't hide anything say babylon is taken bell is confounded babylon be great in this time we talk about america right in this time we talk about america babylon is taken bell is confounded merodach is broken in pieces her idols are confounded her image are broken in pieces and, and the image the image of the beast the image of the beast in this time is their system right which the which the MOTB the market the beast is a big part of their system all right and guess what you know he's concealing it Bishop Nathaniel is concealing it no the scripture said to publish it all right let's get that precept here just quickly Revelation 13 I'll start verse 13 it says what and he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, right, which had a wound by his sword and did live. Now, when we read back here in Jeremiah 50 here, they tell you that, you know, her images are broken in pieces, but before the images are broken, Right, going back into to, to, um, Second Thessalonians two and eight. Right, what did the Lord say? Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight. Right, it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. So the so the, the truth had to be revealed by who? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophets. Right, so the wicked had to be revealed. The wicked system, right, his ways of doing things, right, the, the, his mark. All these things have to be revealed before he comes, right? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So if you don't reveal these things, you know, you know, at the end of the day, you you um you 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 you, you um defeat any purpose of prophecy, right? You're not being a prophet, a true prophet of the Lord. All right. So these things must be published. They must not be concealed, right? And that's how the images. Right, the idols going to be confounded and consumed, as the scripture said, we just read. Right, but you're not doing that. Okay, let's go back here. Let's go to, back to Revelation 13 and verse 13, verse 14, I believe. Right, he says, Um, that they should make an image to the beast which had a wound by his sword and did live. Right, the revised Roman Empire. Right, the ruled Roman Empire had a wound. You know, from the from the, the Byzantine Empire, you know, wounding it, wounding the um the pagan Roman Empire, right? The, the Eastern versus the Western, and then they went into a thousand years uh, um locked away in those um Caucasus mountain by the Lord, right? And then they came back out in the Renaissance period, right? Between around thirteen fifties to fourteen hundred, all right. That's the revised Roman Empire, European Union, and NATO, the beast. Okay. It's a um. Uh, verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. So this is what's coming here, right? The image of the beast, the system, going to come into place, going to speak through what the draconian laws, and cause them, cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So so you don't think that the, 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 the your people want to know the truth too? You don't, you, Nate, you, Bishop Nathaniel, you don't believe, you don't think that... Um, not just this, it's um, very this private class want to know the truth about what's coming. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, by doing that, you're making up the hedge. Right? 
So people will be able to stand so they wouldn't go and take that shit. They wouldn't go and take that RFID microchip. Right? Right? And cause as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. But there's a penalty for taking it. Right? You know? And we know the rest. We say it causes it all both small and rich. Small and great. Rich and poor. Free and bound to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Right? And, and um, you know, that's, that's, that's why um, Bishop Nathaniel doesn't go into that word mark. He knows the meaning of it. He very possibly, very possibly even teaches it in this um, private class that we see here. Alright, so this is no joke. <clears throat> this ain't no joke. Alright? And if Nate, if Bishop Nathaniel knows what's good for him, he's gonna have he's gonna have the sincerity and gonna have a change of heart. You know, because everything as the scriptures say, let's go to the book of Luke. Luke 8 and 17. Everything done in darkness is gonna come to light. It says Luke 8 and 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, right? Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. In the NLT it says, For all that is secret will eventually be brought into the open. Right? So your private class that you did in secret, it was brought out. And everything that is concealed will be brought to light and made known to all. So you, you, you Nate, Bishop Nathaniel, you're going to be in a world of hurt. You better repent. Right? And I pray this lesson was edifying. Right? I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash, double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful electing next time. Shalom, wa bad babala.